today we're going to talk about heel pain and foot pain and is there anything you can do about it? Once you're experiencing heel pain, foot pain, toe pain, there have been certain things along the line that have gone wrong, but your brain has just ignored them. A little bit more about your ankle joint and your foot joint. In order for your foot to move biomechanically in the appropriate manner, your ankle, your leg bone has to be able to go over your ankle. So your ankle joint comes up this way and also points this way. A lot of times people will get tightness or junk in here in the front of your ankle and that will limit your ability to go up. Now, getting pain, a lot of times heel pain is gonna be right on the this bottom part here or in the middle part and it's gonna happen a lot of times in the morning right as you step getting out of bed. The reason why that happens is because all night you kind of have a relaxed ankle, right? If you just let your ankle relax, it's gonna kind of be in a pointed position. And then you go to step out of your bed and all of a sudden you go boom, and you go to step on the ground, right? And what happens overnight is that you have damage to this area and then it shortens because here it's long, here it gets shorter, and it shortens because your ankle is flex. Well then, right in the morning, it's like having a scab right there, you basically rip the scab open every time you go to step on it right in the morning. So one of the things you can do is buy a ankle brace or kind of night splint, and it will hold your foot into this position so that when that scab heals, it heals in a lengthened position. And then when you go to step on it in the morning, it's not kind of ripping that scab off that area. That is one option. Another option is to really work on the flexibility of this area. Now your ankle needs to move up, down, the, it moves in, it moves out, and you're actually, your forefoot twists this way and it twists that way. And so these bones in the forefoot can get really sticky as well. Now this is a little advanced for this video, but if you feel like you kind of are wiggling on your foot and this one foot, the foot you have pain in, seems a lot stiffer than your other foot when you do the same kind of twisty motions, I would consult with a physical therapist. Once you bring the big toe back, it actually stretches all of this tissue out and it makes this forefoot more sturdy, forefoot, midfoot more sturdy. And so when you hit the ground, the force from the ground goes up through your heel and this foot just doesn't wiggle all around, right? So you hit it, this is all nice and tight. It makes a sturdy foot. It kind of brings this arch of your foot kind of open and it makes a nice sturdy base for you to push off and walk on. And then what happens though is if you're lacking mobility in this big toe, it doesn't go backwards, this tissue down here is not able to stretch the way that it should. And so that is going to compromise the integrity of the stability of this middle part of your foot. So every time you hit the ground, more force is gonna go through into this tissue because this isn't as stable. And that is gonna create increased stress and strain on the remaining tissues in your foot. What you wanna do is make sure that this toe is getting stretched out. So one really good exercise for that is 